Welcome back. The attack came without warning on Christmas morning. A man was just out walking his dog in the peace and quiet of that early Christmas morning when officers told him to seek shelter just seconds before the RV exploded, causing chaos in the streets. News 2's Josh Breslow has his story. Early Christmas morning, a man and his dog out for a walk. Um, there was 6.30 in the morning, you know, it's, you know, I mean, there's, there's, I mean, I'll say this, look, there's not a quieter time downtown than, mm -hmm. you know, Christmas morning. It's, I noticed there was police cars uh, at each corner with their lights on and, uh, um, and the guy from the 21C hotel was running outside the building saying we got to evacuate. Caught on camera, you see that officer talking to David Malloy, potentially saving him and his dog DJ from harm. The officer was uh, in the middle of the road of 2nd Avenue walking towards me, telling me to, uh, to evacuate. And I, I said, why do I need to evacuate? And right then, boom. We were really, really fortunate that, that we didn't get hurt. and. and and of course, you know, myself and the officer and the other two officers, like I said, standing out there, uh, the gentleman I was talking to, we were okay, just obviously scared the crap out of it. And it happened. Boom. The windows were blowing out everywhere. And uh, 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 the, the building right adjacent to ours, all of their windows in the front blew out, top and bottom, everything. The man hearing the warning from that RV, but thought it was a message of safety, not danger. The recording that I was hearing, I thought, I just assumed it was coming from the police car, which, you know, I was thinking, wow, I didn't know they could do that with the police car. But it basically it was saying something to the effect of, of uh, do not approach this vehicle, stand away. And, and uh, it wasn't like super loud, but loud enough for me to make out a little bit of that. And then the white flash, the explosion. I checked our alley cameras and our back door also blew wide open. And then I realized a little later that all the, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, back doors of the buildings behind us some of them are still wide open as for dj she was fairly uh, unfazed by it I, I didn't know of course you know i hope there's not a thunderstorm and now she's freaked out by thunderstorms going right. forward but i'm hoping <laughs> that uh, that she's okay yeah. so lucky you're getting debris and glass all around everywhere and just uh you know it's 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 my christmas miracle i'll tell you that josh breslow news two now, David Malloy tells us the force of the blast ran through their home, knocking out many windows at the back of the building, causing the alley to be covered in glass.